Hello mate, my name is Gregor Mendel. If you are quite familiar with life science, you probably know me as the clever fellow who discovered heredity. Let's see, I enjoy. Ah, well, uh, let's just say I play with flowers during my free time. Believe it or not mate, I am actually telling you the truth. And yes, I know it is quite funny but you will all know what I am talking about later on. Well, now I will tell you my life story, and how I came to discover this magnificent crossover called, Heredity, which later on, inspired the entire future of genetics. Ooh, what a pity, it was so long ago I barely remember all of it. Ah yes I remember now. I was born on July 20th, 1822 into my poor family as, Meldan, Mendel. When I was a young man, 21 years old to be exact, I entered a monastery thinking the other fellows wouldn't really fancy my name, so, I eventually dropped the Milhan and changed it to my middle name which was Gregor. Ever since then, I was Gregor Mendel. I was born as the only son and second child of Anton and Rosin Mendel. I had two sisters, Veronica, who was older than me, and Tazia, well, she was younger than me. The five of us lived together in a little house in Hierzendorf, Austria. This monastery I mentioned was the Augustinian Monastery of St. Thomas, at Brun, Austria. It was at the very same monastery where I did my research and conducted both of my famous sets of experiments that late on led me to discovering and fully understanding the biological wonder I personally found on my own called heredity. Every single bloody one of us were once astonished by this so-called godly miracle, the coincidence that a baby had some of the same genetic traits their parents had. Before my discovery, people wondered about it pretty often. I have noticed I had a very keen interest in the many sciences of the world, and I have noticed this is what led me to experimenting and literally defining how physical traits were passed from one generation to the next. I was the unique peculiar lad in this scientific field because I had used positive ILE 100% completely different methods when it came to research this unexplained phenomena. You are not gonna believe this but, I used random plants and animals to recreate and simulate what really happens. As we know it. I mean as I know it. After getting the results, which were not consistent, I have decided to put my noggin only towards individual characteristics of one single plant species. 1856 was when I got my hands on many pairs of different varieties of pigeon sooted and pure breeding yellow peas, whatever, still the same thing. Coincidentally, each pair was dissimilar in one simply diagnosed trait. Seed color, seed shape pod color, pod shape, flower shape, flower position, or even stem height. I stuck to this for a whole two years. That's 730 days. I did this just to make sure if the offspring were always the same. After I completed my two-year task, I began to breed different varieties together to make hybrids. For example, I was just simply brushing the pollen off of yellow pea plants and putting it on green pea plants. For more than a whole eight bloody years I grew the hybrid through generations and generations, tracing the inheritance of the traits. I was proud of myself. I felt like accomplished something that was worth accomplishing. I published all of my notes that were taken all throughout my wonderful career in the year 1865. I was discovered and my work was published all throughout the world immediately. And you can still see it around today. My observations were worth the while, like I said before, my work changed the entire future for genetics. I know this because I, Gregor, Mendel, lived it.